Today, we're going to talk about how to make a static home page be the front page of your WordPress site. Whatever theme you have installed will have a, a front page, or maybe it's just a blog theme. Um, and it's just a listing of posts. Uh, let's go ahead and look at what we have on our site right now. All right, here is our site. You see, this is the front page that came with the theme that we're using, the Streamline theme. It's, uh, as you can see, a collection of posts here that we've entered. This is a featured content gallery that right now links to some pages that we've set up. It includes this sidebar here over on the right side and the menu items up toward the top. So this is uh, how the template, sorry, the theme came with the it's a streamlined theme that we're using, but we want to make it just a static home page uh, that we can uh, modify uh, however we want. So uh, let's go ahead to the uh, dashboard and uh, show you how to do that. Now, first thing uh, you'll want to do is you want to make sure that you have a current version of WordPress, uh, WordPress 2.7.1. You see here is uh, what I'm using right now. Uh, after 2.1, I believe, uh, this uh, became a lot easier to make your home page a static page. So you'll at least want to upgrade to 2.7, I recommend, because a lot of changes were put into 2.7. So if you're not seeing the menu options that, that uh, I'm going to show you, then you need to upgrade your WordPress. All right. So first thing we need to do is go to the uh, settings uh, option on the left hand side and then click on the reading link you see here. All right, now uh, you see up uh, at the top it says a front page displays. And right now we have your latest posts. I'm going to select a static page. I'm going to select by front page. I'm going to select a page that I just created called this is a test home page. Uh, and I just made that uh, just a few minutes ago. I'll click save changes. All right, that did it. Now, look, before I go to show you what the result was, let's go to the pages and take a look at that page that I just created for the home page. There it is. This is a test home page. All right, nothing fancy. Uh, you see that everything's kind of bleeding over and scrunched up because uh, my browser is so small for this screen recording. But uh, if I expanded my browser, it would look normal. Um, I just put some text in a picture, so it's a very bland. Uh, not very visually pleasing front page, but uh, but uh, like I said, I'm just going to show you how to do it, and then you can design your own. All right, look here. This is a template. You want to put the template you want. I've selected a full width template, which will remove the sidebars uh, that we had uh, previously. Um, every theme will come with at least one template. Uh, some themes will come with more than one. This has, you see there, a bunch of them that I could use with, I just want the one without the uh, sidebar. Uh, you can actually also make your own templates, which uh, perhaps we'll uh, talk about in another video. All right, so I've selected the full width template. And um, now let me show you, let's see, let me go ahead and I've got to update that page. And then I will go to uh, show you the results. All right, here it was before. I'll hit refresh. Here it is after. All right, mm, pretty ugly, but um, it has replaced the default home page with the page that I created. So obviously you want to make it prettier, put whatever information you want. This title up here, you can modify, so that would not show. That would require modifying that template file that we discussed, the full width template or creating a new template. Uh, so you can modify how this looks. Um, right now, this is how the, uh, the full width template looks. It's removed the sidebars, and it has that uh, title there. All right. Now let me go back, um, and I'm just going to replace it and change it back to the way it was. So I'm going to select the latest post, save changes. And now if I hit refresh on my home page, I've got my regular front page back. So that's how you can change it to a static page.